my name's Jason, I work for Motorpoint. Um, I've worked for Motorpoint for three years now um, and I'm the sales manager of Motorpoint Sheffield. Yeah, so we're, we're a used car dealership. Um, we sell anywhere circa five, seven thousand cars a month across the country. Um, in Sheffield here we have um, anywhere between four and seven hundred cars on site. Most of them are available to drive away today. So we have um, many different roles at Motorpoint, um, not only our sales exec team, um, but we also have departments such as customer services, we have a preparation team um, as well that are responsible for prepping all of the cars ready for sale. Uh, we have marketing, IT, HR, head office roles um, that we have as well. So um, my role itself is sales executive, um, so daily sort of routine is come in, work your customers who you've spoken to over the last couple of days, quotes that we've got open, um, and basically just calling them, seeing where they're at, trying to obviously get deals out of them. Um, making sure the pitch is all lined up and all correct and everything looking as it should be. Um, and then just dealing with customers as they're coming. So I'm Adam Rowlands, I'm the workshop supervisor. I started here as a pre-delivery inspection technician. I've been the supervisor for the last six months um, and I'm wanting to progress my career into management. So I applied for this job um, by putting my CV online um, and somebody actually called me, an agency called me, um, arranged an interview for me and then I came in and had an interview, then I had a second interview and got the job. Um, so it was actually a, a, an agency as opposed to applying directly on the website. So I didn't actually tell the agent that I was specifically looking for this role, just a role in sales, but it is something that I did want to do. So when he called me and said, I've got this job coming up, um, I was obviously happy about it because it's something that I wanted to do for a long time to be fair before. Um, so yeah, it wasn't actually specifically for this. But yeah, the first day I was probably a bit overwhelmed with everything that was going off. Um, but within the first few hours, I felt settled. Everybody made me welcome and I was happy to be here. So my first day, I got here about half eight, quarter to nine. It was a bit overwhelming. When we first start, we're not obviously selling. We have a lot of training to go through. It was more doing the little jobs that needed doing, so lining the pitch up and things like that. Just getting used to driving different cars, um, going to dealerships and bringing cars back that had been MOT'd and serviced, things like that. When we're recruiting, what we look for um, in new recruits is very much around our values and culture fit within the organisation. Um, so we have four um, key values within Motorpoint, which is around being proud. So we're looking for people that are really proud to work for our brand. Um, we're looking for happy people um, that bring their personality to work, that can be happy with our customers because that creates a great environment for people to work in. Um, we're looking for uh, supportive people as well. Um, so when people join our business, we don't expect them to know all of the answers. Um, we will help, um, people just need to ask um, if they need help. Um, and that is really a fundamental part of our business. If people want to go and do qualifications, um, once they've joined us, then we, we absolutely will, will support that as well. Just drive into determination, uh, motivation. They need motivation to work here. Uh, I just want people that are going to deliver a good customer service, high energy, you know, and, and make sure that customer service is what it's all about for us, really. Uh, making sure that they follow the process and, and get to the end goal. Uh, I absolutely love my job. Um, the feel of everyone being in it together, everyone working as part of a team, uh, collectively looking after each other, feeling valued um, and respected as well is, is a real important thing to me joining an organisation um, and yeah I think just I've been overwhelmingly impressed with, with what I've seen so far. There's so many good things about this job like you don't ever wake up and think 
I don't want to go to work today. I've done jobs previously where I've been like that most days, but it's just the atmosphere, the whole atmosphere of it. Every month's different, every day is different. You're getting up, you're, you're working with a group of people you're spending hours and hours with every week and obviously you get to know them really well so it's more it feels more like a group of friends or like closer you feel more like it's weird it's more like family i love working for motor points uh like i say i've worked at a lot of places uh, motor points probably the only motor trade job where i wake up in the morning and want to come to work uh, mainly the people you know we, we, we we're called family points not motor points here uh, we all get on it's a great team we do a lot of um, a lot of activities together as a team that are out of work um, we do a lot of meals out and nights out and go-karting and all that sort of stuff. Um, I feel that the company really looks after its employees um, like a family member rather than a member of staff. My perception was that it would be quite you know, um, male dominated but actually I've been really impressed with the diversity that we've got in our organisation um, and we are really proud of that as well in our heritage. As a car fan I can't find a place anywhere better than here to work as you get to drive anything from a Fiat 500 to an Audi SQ7. You get a wide range and personally for me that is what I love. Uh, yeah, they get to drive these all day long, moving around, playing with cars. So a lot of people that come straight out of college, their main thing is I'm, I'm a car enthusiast, you know, I love cars, I just want to be around cars, I want to, I want to be with them every day. Um, and that, that's what we deliver along with a good pay packet as well, which, which obviously drives a lot of people to the trade. It certainly did me. I'm looking for people that have got high energy qualifications in the motor trade, we can, we can do all that on site. We've got a, a, quite a, um, a fixed regime of training, you know, we can, we can teach everything you need. It's not a case of I'm looking for people with two, five years experience. I'd prefer somebody that would come in that's, that's maybe got no experience but is the right person for the job, full of energy, you know, and somebody that we can tailor the way that we want within, within um, following our core values, obviously. So I went to college, uh, so A-levels. So I didn't go to university. Um, I just started working straight from college. Um, worked in door-to-door -door sales. Um, moved about for that. Um, I only did it for six months, but that was what got me into sales. That's when I realized, actually, I want to do this. Because um, I never knew what I wanted to do when I was at school and college. So to become a PDI technician, uh, you need a level two qualification in either city and guilds or IMI. We do a lot of on-site training. Uh, we help you progress your career from just being a straightforward technician to be able to swap bumpers, do plastic welding, um, and even doing clutches and gearboxes. Young people love to come to the motor trade. Most, I mean, it is a, uh, uh, the environment where we're surrounded by things that young people love. Everybody wants to drive cars. You know, we've, we've got up to a thousand cars on site at some points of every brand, every model, every make, um, which tends to turn a lot of young people on. You know, everybody wants to be in, in and out of these nice cars. And on the back of it, obviously, it's a great, great uh, way to earn a good living um, and earn plenty of money. Motor Point's all about a work-life balance. They're very heavy on that, so we have um, a couple of hours a month that we can use whenever we want to go and do things with family and friends and things like that. Um, we never have to work our birthdays, we just automatically get them off. Um, obviously we get discount on cars as well, um, which is always always good. Um, but it's And plus, they're more about making sure the customers are happy when they leave as opposed to just getting the numbers right, getting our targets and things like that. Yeah, so average wage for a sales executive, it doesn't matter what age you are because it is it is heavily commission based. Um, so we have a basic wage plus the commission. Um, to be very honest, it, it fluctuates, it varies. Um, my first year I did just under 45,000. Um, this year I'm hoping to get 50, 55. The best ones get 60, 70, um, and probably bottom end, you're probably looking at 30, just under 30,000 pounds. In terms of getting into the motor industry and um, reasons for getting into the motor industry, certainly within Motorpoint, are the fact that we are growing as an organisation, um, despite obviously quite a you know, um, uncertain time at the moment with the economy. Um, but we are growing, we're investing, and we have um, 
something called the Virtuous Circle within our organisation, which is around making sure that we get the right people in place, that ultimately we have a great customer experience, and then we ultimately make profit, which is reinvested back into our people. Um, so that's about keeping that turning, and we can't do that without great people. The opportunities are endless within this business um, for people to come in, be themselves, grow if they want to grow um, as far as they want to go, and we'll help them every step of the way.